Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your June 2017 horoscope. The good news about this month is that Mars and Venus are changing sign, Mercury changes sign twice, so there is forward momentum. If you've been feeling stuck, if you've been feeling as though there's been obstacles in your way, if you're ready to take some proactive action, you'll find that things just move so much more easily. You've got a tailwind with the planets this month. Let's look at it in a little more detail. On the fifth of the month, we've got Mars coming into your eighth house. So Mars is energizing this eighth house of everything to do with joint finances. So if you're in business with someone else, uh, there could be a, bo a boost forward with this business, or there may be a, a difference of opinion that needs to be resolved. Maybe you need to take a little more charge and this could also be connected with your partner's finances as well. Maybe it's time for them to put some energy into some new areas. It's important to resolve any issues to do with tax, debts, mortgage, banks. This is a good time for getting things resolved with that Mars energy. It's also a good time for applying for um, investors, grants, scholarships, anything where you're looking for other people to invest in you in some way. On the 6th of the month, we've got Venus coming to join Mercury briefly here in this 6th house. And Venus in your 6th house could bring you some good news as far as work is concerned as far as maybe uh, having nice people around you, somebody who's nice, who puts in a good word for you, maybe there's been some difficulties uh, in a situation, and here with the Venus energy, uh, ruffled feathers could be smoothed down a little. It's also a good time really to be looking at what do you enjoy as far as keeping your physical body healthy? So if you enjoy yoga, you enjoy Pilates, you enjoy going out in nature, whatever it is that you enjoy, really focus on that because as you enjoy something, your body uh, gets into its own alignment and its own rhythm. The hesitation I have with Venus there is you might be drawn to some very sweet things in the process. So there's your warning. On the seventh of the month, we've got Mercury coming into your seventh house of relationships, joining the sun there. This is a lovely aspect to have uh, because your relationships are coming under focus this month, Sagis, and uh, this is shining a light and giving you an opportunity for some new beginnings, new opportunities, a good time to have a good talk with someone, good time for generating clients, if you've got services or products, the seventh house is everything to do with signing contracts, um, agreeing some new business proposals. So the seventh house is not only romance, although it could be new romance, but it could also be new business opportunities. It's also a really good time for doing anything um, that refreshes or renews an existing relationship. It's a good time for seeing it from a different perspective. Maybe you've been seeing this person in one light, and you now really listen to them with the Mercury there, and you really see another perspective, and that opens out some other possibilities in a relationship that might have felt a little stuck. On the 9th of the month, we've got a full moon in your sign, Sagis, joining Saturn there in your first house. So it's been about other people, and then it's about you. Whenever there's a full moon in a part of your chart, energizing that part of your chart, it often brings some changes, opportunity to refresh, reboot that area of your life. So this is everything to do with your appearance, how you want to be seen. Maybe it's time to uh, wear some different colors, to buy different clothes, to recycle your existing clothes, to look at your posture, to look at different ways in which you wish to present yourself, because that's uh, going to bring about the potential for some very positive changes, because as you become more self-confident, then all your relationships as a result improve. 
Things begin to move faster again on the 22nd of the month when the sun comes into your 8th house, also Mercury on that date as well. And on the 24th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon happening in this 8th house. So, what's being activated here for you, Sages, is really um, an opportunity for you to go more deeply into something. You are a mutable sign, you're impatient, you get bored easily, but it's important this month to really go a little deeper, especially into something that might feel a little scary. It's like, oh, I'm not sure I want to do this. But it's important with all these wonderful aspects energizing you, you may really um, create more depth in a relationship, a closeness, an intimacy that you've been looking for. Maybe you've been feeling lonely and isolated. Now is a time maybe to release certain psychological uh, patterns from the past so that you can allow people more closely into you. What's being activated is the Cardinal Cross during this time. Uh, we've got uh, the Cardinal signs, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. So that's your second, your eighth house, your fifth and your eleventh house is being activated here. So it's about opportunities for you for really transforming your finances, for really bringing about the kind of wealth and abundance that many of you have been looking for, and for being proactive about it. And maybe it's time to be proactive about starting a business, or widening your social circle. So there's tremendous opportunity this month, Sagis. You like an adventure, so don't be afraid, or go with the fears, and do it anyway. I wish you a wonderful month. Thank you for your comments. I love to get your feedback, and for liking and subscribing. Bye for now.